Today I'm going to do a product review of the brand Rehint Quad Cane and Single Point Cane. I stumbled on these canes and they do such a great job. I wanted to do a review. But first I'm going to talk a little bit about my walking journey. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nancy. I had a major stroke a year and a half ago. It took me four months to be able to just walk the slightest amount. So canes have been pretty important for the last year of my journey. So I'm going to start by talking about my cane progression, then I'll do the review. So stick with me. I started my journey with this Hemi Walker. There's a picture of it on the left hand side. It's very bulky, but it provides a huge amount of stability and you can bear a lot of weight on it. And I was able to claw my way across the floor, <laughs> holding on to this bad boy with dear life. But as I got better and better at walking, I wanted to step up a little bit and get something a little less bulky and a little less where I was relying by putting my weight on the walker and getting it back onto my legs where I belonged. And this all happened under the close supervision of my awesome physical therapist. Here on the outside on the left and the right are the quad gains I started out with when I graduated from the Hemi Walker. And then in the center is the pink single point cane that I graduated to after the quad cane. I started with the quad cane on the right and you'll notice how big the base is. That provides an awful lot of balance and st stability, but as you progress and get better with a cane, it's hugely unwieldy and hard to maneuver with. So my physical therapist said, you need to get a quad cane with a smaller base. So I got the one on the left, the base is half the size, it provides a fair amount of stability and is not as unwieldy as the larger based quad cane. But what I really wanted to do was graduate to the single point because once I get to the single point and I can walk with it, the next step is being able to walk without a cane and that's my goal. One of the things that's really handy about this cane is you can pull the base and the handle apart and then they fold in half like this right here. What's nice about that is if you're riding in a car as a passenger, you can take the, the cane into the car with you as opposed to having to give it to the driver and have them put it in the trunk. And so that way, when you're ready to get out of the car, you have your cane right with you. You don't have to wait for them to go and get it. And you just hold on to the handle and just kind of fling the outside away from you and the cane snaps back in the case. It's really a slick fe feature. Okay, here is the Hemi Walker that I showed at the beginning of this video. You'll notice how sturdy and stable it is. And this bad boy will take a huge amount of weight. You can lean all your weight onto it. And as long as you don't pop your elbow out of the joint, you can walk along with it. I clawed my way across many a floor with this before I got good enough for a quad cane. So this is entry level. This is where you first start out when you first get back into walking after your stroke, which took me four months. I was totally paralyzed for the first month. I couldn't move a thing on my whole left side. I fortunately had all my cognitive function and I'm right-handed, so I could use my right hand and my right leg, but I couldn't use anything on my whole left side. It was quite an accomplishment for me to be able to walk with a Hemi walker. These are the two quad canes that I was talking about. You see how the left one has a much smaller base. Rehand is the brand 
And this one on the left is just awesome. It does a great job. It's adjustable height. It's got a nice foamy grip handle that's molded to your hand. So it's comfortable and easy to use and easy to get a grip on. And it will hold 350 pounds. So you can put a lot of weight on that before you get into trouble. This is a really comfortable handle, which just makes it a lot easier to use. This is the handle on the single point, which you'll notice is also custom fitted and is hanging on the handle of one of the other brands, Quad Canes, which just has a straight molded handle on it, or rather a straight, just a straight handle on it. It's not molded at all. It was very much harder to use than the rehand one that I finally wound up with. What a huge difference the grip makes. You wouldn't think it, but it does. Here's the quad canes with the difference in base size again. You want the one on the left. It's put out by rehand, and it's very sturdy. It's got a nice grip. The height is adjustable, and it's very stable and does a great job. Another thing that I like about this rehand single point cane is it's got that huge base on the bottom. And if you get one that just comes down to a point, it's not very stable. But this one has a huge base, not huge enough that it gets in your way, but huge enough that it gives you the balance that you need from a cane. This is me walking with the rehand single point cane. It's not pretty, but considering it took me a year to be able to do that, I'm right proud of it. So every once in a while, I'll catch my stride and I can just walk along. And I know that if I work enough with this rehand single point cane, soon I'll be able to wean myself off of it, just like I wean myself off the quad cane and wean myself off the hemi walker. And once I wean myself off the last cane, then I'll just be walking by myself. And I'm looking forward to that day and working hard towards it. This is me walking with the rehand single point cane. It's not so thank you very much for watching my review of the Rehan Canes, the Quad Cane and the Single Point Cane. There's a link in the description to buy one of these canes. So I hope you'll go back to the description and give it a click and score one for yourself because they really are great. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.